FIFA has removed Indonesia as the host nation for the upcoming Under-20 World Cup 2023. 500 expat children will receive scholarships to study in Qatar. It's the month of giving. Here's where to pay your zakat in Qatar this Ramadan. And finally, Qatar's Mu'taz Bersham has his sights on redemption at this year's Wanda Diamond League. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. FIFA has stripped Indonesia of its right to host the FIFA Under-20 World Cup 2023, a statement confirmed on Wednesday. This comes after hundreds of activists in the Muslim nation marched and protested Israel's involvement in the tournament. Earlier this week, authorities there cancelled the tournament's draw after Bali's governor, Wayan Koster, refused to host Israel's team in the competition. Pro-Palestine supporters around the world have rallied around Indonesia for its bold stance in rejecting Israel's apartheid policies. For now, FIFA has yet to announce the new host of the tournament. In other news, 500 expat youth from underprivileged families in Qatar are said to be provided scholarships by education above all. The scholarship program will allow the students to pursue degrees at nine universities across the Gulf state, with the initiative beginning from the academic year of 2025-2026. Authorities in Qatar have set up 31 zakat collection points to help people make payments during the holy month of Ramadan. The zakat collection points will be operating in two shifts from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. across the country. Authorities also said an app will be launched to allow people to make their donations from their smart devices. For the full list of collection locations, check out our website. And finally, reigning Olympic and world high jump champion Martez Bersham is set to compete in the Wanda Diamond League. This year's competition is set to kick off in Doha on May 5th, with the finals set to take place in Eugene in September. Looking ahead of the event, Bersham said he's keen on fighting for redemption after losing to Italy's Tamberi last year. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.